Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And we are going to be working on some mini tags today. Okay, so now, um, before, hello, Rachel. I'm a little discombobulated because um, I was told that there was actually a, a hum on the video. I didn't hear it on my video yesterday, but I did hear it before I started, so I had to restart the computer and all this good stuff. I'm sure you guys don't really care about that, as long as I'm on, right? <laughs> so I hope... Um, you all are doing well today. My hands are all greasy. See, I waited till the last minute to do everything. So, um, if you're new to the channel, this is Junk Journal Related. And we are going to be, again, doing some mini tags. And I actually did like a few little uh, mini tags. Yeah, let me, I got to get some of this oil off my hands. <laughs> it's too much. Oh, and we need some more light over here. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. If you're new to the channel and you like junk journal stuff, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Hey, Penny and Super Tech. And I think I said, hey, Wendy, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I can move this out the way because the volume is on. I'm sure you all can hear me all right. Now, this doesn't take too many um, pieces of... Uh, you can use scraps for this basically to get this done. Hey, Tammy. And I'm just going to kind of jump right in because my mind is like going a whole bunch of different ways right now because I've just been like running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <sighs> All right. Let me put my old lady glasses on. So what? I let me show you the ones. I did just a few of these little mini tags already. And they are right here. You can see how small they are because I have to get really close for you, Sam. Let me fix our, our focus. There we go. So you can see what they look like. So I just made these out of some paper bag. And I used some of these little vintage catalog. Um, ripped some little pieces of those. I did do some sewing on these. So I'll... I may do some sewing and then I also just put like a little grommet on here. So I actually have some smaller ones that I want to use. All right. So, and then I also took out, let me pull this up. I took out some of my stamps and I know you all have some stamps, right? So let's get that right. Okay. So I took out my smallest stamps that I have, but I still didn't take out, I need some more paper. Yeah, I just, ugh. let me see. Let me see, do I have some of these printed out already? Because I might have some that I can just use. I think I do, but I'm gonna stamp. Hold on, let me grab some paper, y'all. I actually had some creamy colored um, copier paper. I didn't even know I had any more of this. So I'm going to use this to start off with as my base. And I took out some archival ink as well. And so I'm just going to do some stamping first. So, ugh. it's been a crazy day. Well, it wasn't crazy until just like about a half an hour ago. <laughs> It just got crazy. Hey, Tamika. It just got crazy. And I had to, another reason why I had to reboot my computer is because it started raining. And the stream got really bad, which I need to check on. So I had to make sure everything was all clear. That says peace. So I'll do a few of these. May as well. Although I don't know how many tags I'm going to do. This one says make art. And I think I got these. 
I got these at a thrift store, I think. I'm always finding uh, stamps at the thrift stores in Goodwill. That's because I go too much. But I haven't been in a while, so in my defense, I have not been in a while. Uh-oh, that one didn't come out that great. I don't think I can go over that. Let's try it anyway. Yeah, it might be okay for what we're doing today. I wanted to try to do something that was uh, slightly easier and not too involved. But of course, you know, y'all know me. Oh, y'all getting some rain in Virginia too? Oh, I messed up another one. I have a lot of space in between these. I can get a lot more stuff in here, I'm sure. I don't know. Oops, now I'm going wacky. I need to calm down. Calm down, because I probably won't even use all of these stamps. I like this make art one though. The only thing about the wooden stamps is you can't really see where you're stamping. That's the only thing. Let me get one of my raggedy blocks. And we got a little fly here. I like my fly. I didn't even send out all the notifications I usually send out. Nothing. Make sure I'm still on the screen here. I spent, um, well, actually, I spent the morning just working on my Etsy shop because you know as a business owner you always have to be working on your business so you can't just put something up and then expect things to work out you gotta always be working on it so I was working on my shop this morning and then this afternoon I started working on my uh, 20 journals that I'm working on right now <laughs> And I finished doing my pockets, too, right before I got done. I was like, I'm going to finish these pockets. And then I was like, uh-oh, I didn't do anything I was supposed to do <laughs> working on that journal. All right. I'm going to double these up this time. Let's see. I'm trying to get, like, the smallest ones. So I want these to be, like, small tags. Not too big. I mean, I could use this guy. That guy can go in. And this ballerina, because I like her too. So what are you all working on today? I hope your uh, weather is a bit better than mine. And I'm okay with um, these coming out kind of not perfect, because, you know, that's the junk journal world. Hey, beautiful. We have an imperfect junk journaling world, so we're not looking for perfection here. All right, let's take those off, and y'all can see I got a lot of ripping to do. <laughs> uh, I want to do... Um, we'll do this and this one. We'll do the clock and we're going to do the coffee cup or teacup. Y'all not even have any coffee today. That's probably my problem. I'm discombobulated because I don't have any coffee. All right. So we filled that paper up really fast. Okay. So... We're just going to keep those over to the side since we know we did those. And now, um, what I'm going to do... I'm going to take this one out. And... Before I even do any ripping... Of course, you could always pr 
print out like a page that already has like a background, some color on the background. Let me see. I'm going to kind of do a little smooching before I cut the papers. Now we'll have to do all of that stuff. I need something better than this though. No coffee makes a rough day. <laughs> I think you're right. I don't know if the pad on this. I don't think I have any extra pads for these. Y'all, I never liked these square ones. This is the Tim Holtz um, um, blending tool, but I never liked these because the pads they give you are crap. You can hear the uh, Velcro because the pad, the pad on this is done. That's not working for me either. Let me continue on with my circles. Y'all know of a better way to do this. I'm all ears and eyes. <laughs> I'm just trying to darken it up. Imagine if I just use white paper. You could use white paper and do the same thing though. I feel like I'm rushing so I just need to, like my mind right now is like rushing. It's like in a, in a rushing panic mode for some reason. Because I didn't do everything that I was supposed to do. So I gotta calm my mind down. You all are here to help me calm my mind down. Hi, Jane. Texas got the rain too. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, y'all. It must be some storms out there or something. Y'all don't watch the news, so. But I'm sure my brother and my mom, they'll tell me if something's happening. You know, there's a storm coming. And then they try to shame. My mom tries to shame me. She's like, you don't never watch TV. <laughs> How you going to know what's going on? I kind of don't want to know. <laughs> That's why I don't watch. I want to live my life oblivious and just sit in my crafting world and just craft away. I don't want to know about what's going on. <laughs> Your daughter got the coffee for you. I need somebody to bring me the coffee. That would have been nice. <laughs> Hi, Nikora. Thanks for joining us. We're going to be making some tags. If I ever get done smushing, smooching this paper up. You can see it's an imperfect smooching, but that's what I want. I don't want it to be perfect. Because I want these tags to look old and not really like, not worn, but old and nice and vintage -y. All right. So that's enough smooching on this paper. Now, what I think. This I'm going to take out my We Are Memory Keepers Terror Guide. Y'all know this is one of my favorite items. And just tear imperfectly as well. Imperfect tearing. So for those of you that are in the Facebook group, well, let's just put that if you're not in the Facebook group, you're invited to join us. The link is in the description below. And um, uh, lately I have been kind of posting up some questions. I'm kind of kind of polling people and kind of getting the feel for um you all's needs that's why you're seeing like a lot of questions and stuff um so if y'all don't mind answering the questions i don't mind answering because i always i like answering asking questions i should have been a um i should have been an interviewer i think i would have made a good interviewer I bet the people that I hired on different jobs and stuff, they probably didn't think that. They're like, oh my God, why is she asking me all these questions? <laughs> so now I am just ripping some stuff apart. I like the organicness of the ripping. 
So I did use the We Are Memory Keepers um, tearing guide a little bit and then I'm going to rip some with my hands. So if your hands are not so good, which I know a lot of us aren't sometimes, my hand was kind of hurting a little bit earlier today. I don't know if it's from using the sewing machine or not because I used the sewing machine a lot yesterday doing those pockets and then I did more pockets after I got off. Oh, you stayed up to watch, Jane? That's awesome, because I know it's late where you're at. I heard it's hot there, too. Hot like it is here. Well, maybe not like it is in Florida, but... It's a little warm there. I've got another piece of this puzzle, too. Yeah, I'm just so ugh. Not into it today. I mean, I'm into the crafting. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm into being with y'all today. Don't get me wrong. Yep, I should have had that coffee. Yeah, I think the UK is like five hours ahead of the East Coast here, I, I believe. I think I'm correct. You can correct me if I'm wrong. It's hard to catch up with people when you live on the other side of the world, that's for sure. Been there, done that. I think the furthest that I've been is in Bali, y'all. And that's like, I think it's like 18 hours from Florida, so... I had to like time things just right so I could talk to people at home when I was over there. Those time zones, they ain't a joke. I'm coming along. Y'all yeah, might have a lot of little pieces. See, this is quick ephemera. This is, I know I made my 20 ephemera already. <laughs> Just these little pieces, these guazillion pieces I got going here. This one I kind of messed up. I'm not going to use that one. I'm trying to get a little bit close on these because they're going to be going on top of another piece as well. Yep, we five hours difference. I have a friend that I talk to all the time in, in the UK. But the good thing is my friend is a night owl. So we can usually chat every day. Which is nice. Because y'all know I could be a chatterbox sometimes. Just gonna tear a few more of these words. I knew I was tearing, biting off more than I could chew when I was stamping. But I might stamp some more though. Cause you know, I could never have enough. They probably could have been a little darker, I think. They could have, they could have used a little more smooching. Ooh. I wonder what will happen if I do this. That's interesting. Now I can see the smooching good. I like that. I'm not going to go back and do those little pieces, though. They're done. All right, that was a much better idea. Of course, my fingers are probably going to turn uh, brown. <laughs> but you win some, you lose some. You can't have it all, can you? Are you enjoying the Facebook page? I'm enjoying the Facebook page, too. I'm finding it very difficult to stay off of there. Because <laughs> I get it. Of course, I get a notification every time something posts. Or somebody likes something and all kinds of stuff. So, 
but I like it. Liking it a lot. Quite enjoying. I've been wanting to do like some mini type tags for a while. I know y'all hear that from me a lot because I have a, I always have a lot of ideas in my mind. And then I just don't have enough time to implement everything. So when I say I've been trying to do things for a while, I really mean it. Like it's been on my mind to do these mini tags for a while. But I just couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. Now, the only thing with these, I still would like to go around the edges of these. So, I'm not going to go around all the edges while I'm on. Or we'll be on here until the beginning of time. I mean, the end of time. Or the beginning. I guess it all depends on how you look at time. <laughs> if you look at the end of time, as the beginning of time. Look at me getting all philosophical. Philosophical. I like these flies. I like them on paper, but I don't like them for real. Over the weekend, I went to my mom's house and some flies I got in her house. I don't know if you ever, I ever, you guys ever experienced this, but I have at my house before too, where like you see a fly, like the it's a big old fly, and. And you, you kill it, and then there's another fly. And you're like, where are all these flies coming from? And it's like they're all hanging out in the same window. I was like, what is up with this? So me and my granddaughter, we went on. She was fly hunting. She's only two years old, so she was fly hunting. And she find the fly, and then I kill the fly. We killed like five flies. I don't know where those flies came from. That was weird. But like I said, that's happened to me before, too. Hey, Chris, Christina. And no, Tammy. That's all I'm saying to you. <laughs> no. This is not a two-hour night. Because me and uh, Slim have a date. We're going out to eat. We haven't ate our dinner. We're going to go out to eat after this is over with. All right. So... Let me start smooching these sides up or else we will be on here for two hours. I'm kind of glad I just jumped right in because that never happens. I think, let me get, let me get my other one out. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some more. Some more distressed inks because my vintage photo is done for real. It's uh, I even bought some stuff where you spray on it and it's supposed to refresh it. And I don't know what I did with it because it needs to be refreshed again. It worked for a minute, but I need more. Okay, that looks good. I'm happy with the results now. This is kind of a TV time activity because this is like some something you can prep out. While you're just watching TV mindlessly, ripping and smooching and doing the edges. And then you can come back and do get your projects done. Because all you have to do is kind of pick from the teal. But I didn't have anything done already. So I kind of do most of my ephemera with you all. So we we're kind of building our stash together. So in case you all didn't notice, I kind of changed the title up a little bit to building our stash because technically that's what we're doing is building our stash. I know I'm always on the Project 20 kick. And if you're new to the channel, what I mean by Project 20 is for me, I have been attempting to do 20 pieces of ephemera. I'm going to say every session uh, that I do ephemera, not every day, but every session. And then that way I will have plenty of ephemera to pick from when I actually start putting my books together. 
So I've been putting that in the title, but I don't think people really understand what the uh, Project 20 is unless they come on. So I changed it to building your stash because we all know what that means. And also everybody really doesn't don't need to be on a Project 20 kick. <laughs> you might not need that much ephemera. But you might need like five or six pieces or something. So you could do like a project, uh, a project seven or something instead of project 20 because 20 is kind of out of control. <laughs> it's a bit out of control, but you know, I'm okay with the project 20. I am with it. Now again, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're coming on the replay, please leave a comment below. I would love to know your thoughts. If you all have any tips for me, this part is always like the slow part, part of the process for me. Hi, Donna. How are you doing today? Y'all don't know what we're going to have for dinner tonight. What are you all having for dinner? I don't even know what we have a taste for, but we're going to go get something because we've been in the house for three days. And although I don't mind being in the house for three days, every now and then, you know, I have to peek my head out the door. Get a little fresh air. But I'm I'm a totally a homebody. I could stay at home for a long time, but I do like to just reach out a little bit. Reach out to the world. Butterflies. Y'all love butterflies. When we went, when me and Slim went to the alligator habitat on Saturday, um, we saw a lot of butterflies out there. I guess the alligators can't get the butterflies. <laughs> so I guess it's okay. It's okay for them to be out there. But we're actually, people fish out there and everything. But I don't think um, where we walk at, we walk out like on this pier so the alligators can't get you. But there's some people that are down by the water and they fish. But I think you, get, you would see the alligators coming towards you though. Because they're pretty big out there. I've seen them. Oh, yeah, I can stay in the house until I need more junk journal supply. You're right about that. But now you can order stuff online. <laughs> you can order stuff online very, very easily. So you don't ever have to leave. You can order groceries from your house now. You can have everything can be delivered. If you can pay for it, you can have it delivered. Yeah, my arm getting tired. I think it was tired already. I don't know what from because I haven't really been using my muscles today. I need some spinach. <laughs> Y'all, I asked Slim if he knew who Popeye was. He looked at me like I was crazy. He didn't know who Popeye was. Can you believe that? I bet you they sold a lot of spinach when Popeye was on. When he first originally came on with his big muscles. <laughs> I am in Orlando, Florida. Donna. I would say sunny Florida, but it's not real sunny right now. I'm surprised you all can't hear the thunder or the rumble. It's more like a rumble today because sometimes the thunder, I've had some thunder that I've heard that I thought a plane, an airplane hit the house here. That thunder is crazy, but it's quite mild today. It's just a like a little bit of a roll, rolling thunder. Oh, 
Oh, and the thrift stores too. Tammy, you're like an enabler. You're like put planting little seeds into my head. Like you have to get out the house to go, go get craft supplies. Hit, hit, hit. <laughs> you have to get out the house to go to the thrift store to get some more supplies. Hit, hit, hit. I know what you're doing. You're just trying to keep me in the crafting lane. And I have to say, I'm kind of like that. I like having friends like you. Because <laughs> you understand. Okay, I'm going to finish this little pal. I'm determined. I know y'all might be tired of seeing me, but I'm determined. Get this pile of stuff done. And I like how all the pieces are very unique now. Even though the stamp itself is not unique. It is. Uh, the pieces are unique because I ripped them up. And the stamps are imperfect. So that's nice. So I'll probably like uh, at least finish up um, cutting these and smushing it well, while ripping them and smushing them after I get off because I know I won't be able to do it all you get thunderstorms every evening here in Florida we get storms we always get them in the evening too that's kind of weird I wonder why and usually in the summertime it rains almost every day here a lot of people don't know that they think it's sunny in Florida all the time but nope it's not all right let's just move that out the way I don't think I'm going to use any more stamps right now. Let's just move that over here. And I did have some that I started on too. But we're just going to put those to the side. Okay. So we're going to need some paper clips for this next piece. And okay. Hold on you all. I need another piece of the puzzle. All right, y'all, look at this. Somebody in the group had posted about, um, they had like a whole bunch of wrapping paper that came in a um, package, which we get lots of packages and stuff. So here's some, I just, I was gonna go get a paper bag, but I said, no, let me grab this. Cause she was trying to come up with the idea of what to use it for. And I said, if you wanna use it like as paper in your book and stuff, you can iron it out, but I'm just going to, and I don't remember who it was, because I chit-chat with so many people now, but I'm just going to use this as, uh, sorry for all the noise, I'm going to use this as a background for some of these. It's already nice and wrinkled up, so that's nice. I'm going to ball it up. I'm going to wrinkle it up some more. That'll make it easier to... Um, to work with. What part of Florida? I'm in Central Florida, in Orlando, if that's what you're asking. It came out as flat, but I think you meant Florida. <laughs> All right, so now I have a nice piece of wrinkled up paper. And so now, because I'm going to use that, this is part of my background. I probably would use the paper bag, probably would be better because I think it will be sturdier for this kind of job. And I'm also going to use some of this old catalog here as my background. So let's see. So something like that. Let's see how my other ones looked. Did I smooch around everything? No, I didn't. Okay, that's good because I don't feel like smooching around everything. <laughs> this one I actually cut into like a little tag, but this, where's the other one at? This one I kind of just did some ripping, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Just do some ripping, and I'll be happy with that. So, I'm just going to put some paper clips on here because I'm going to, y'all know I'm going to sew. You stop the laundry to watch. <laughs> well, right on. All right, so these are done. Okay, we got that one. We got stuff everywhere. Just in that little bit of time. Okay, 
So I know I kind of need like a little bit of a bigger piece for her. Because she's a tall lady. And you know, I'm not really like cutting this in any type of shape. I'm just throwing it together. Because y'all know how I roll. Alrighty. And paper clip. So I'll just do a few of these and then I'm going to get to sewing. I'm trying to be mindful of the time. Alright. We're okay for the moment. And where's my flies at? I like the flies. Come here, fly. Let's get some more papers. Yep, this is definitely a TB time activity. And I don't want these to be too big. Because I just want them to be like some small hanging pieces like these are probably bigger than I want them to be. So I would like them to be small. I need a snack too, but I can't snack and be on at the same time. <laughs> I don't think y'all want to hear me smacking on a snack. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm hungry, but I can wait. I can wait, I can wait. Tear some of that off. So we're kind of doing a little bit of a collage, I suppose. I suppose, I suppose. Let's do another butterfly. I didn't even put a dent in that paper. So whoever that was, speak up. Who was talking about this paper? It's a good idea. But I think, like I said, the paper bag, I think, would be sturdier for this application. But I'm just going to roll with this for now. And I purposefully um, picked paper that was kind of like different, um, different variations of the same color because I wanted it to be vintage Tony for this, if that makes sense. I know it doesn't really. When I, when I talk in a different language, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but I think y'all know what I mean. Happy. Hopefully I got enough. I mean, these are big enough to sew a little bit. I haven't tried to sew the small pieces on the new sewing machine either, so that's going to be interesting. I put a link to the sewing machine in the description, so... You all can look at it if you're interested in it. It's the Brother SQ9185. Paper, paper. I think I might need a tidbit of a bigger piece. Eh, eh. That'll be okay. All right, I'm going to do just a few more, and then I am going to get to sewing. <laughs> We're making you hungry. <laughs> You're telling me. At least y'all can get up and go get something to eat. I'm going to starve to death by the time I get done. Then y'all never going to see me again. All right. More paper. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to do one more. 
what shall we do? I think we shall do another clock because I like the clocks also. Okay. Got a clock. All right. So now I am going to sew. I'm not going to glue anything. I'm not doing any gluing. All right, I'm just gonna move all the stuff over to the side. Move that to the side. Move that to the side. Move that to the side. So, and let's take out the sewing machine. Oi! And I actually have kind of a dark, kind of bronzy um, thread in here. So, I'm gonna see how this is gonna work out today. <laughs> see how it's gonna look. Cause my samples have like a lighter color, but I don't feel like changing. I don't wanna, I don't feel like changing the thread. So I'm just gonna go with it. Cause that's, that's junk journal style right there. <laughs> you just go with it. All right, and I'm just gonna do a straight stitch. I think this is a straight stitch. Yeah, this will be fine. And I'm actually going to go like down both sides of the piece, but I'm going to do it kind of run them through like this. Wait a minute. Just trying to make sure it's fixed up. I'm going to do this side. And I'm just trying to go down the sides of um, the pictures or the images. And I'm, on this first run, I'm just trying to catch everything. So it won't come loose. And then once I get all of these, then I'm going to go back and do like the other side also. I'm using a straight stitch um, in this one. I do use the zigzag stitch, and now since I have this wonderful machine, I use a lot of different stitches. But for this application, I just want a straight stitch because I want the stitch to be simple. Because the pieces are so small, like a zigzag stitch would just like it would just like take over. It would do the takeover, and I don't want the takeover on these. I want to be able to see the images and not the stitching so much in this application. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and I'm not really caring too much about how pretty it is because it's just gonna look perfect when it's done. So you can run through these pretty quickly this way. The show. And I've only done a few of these. I like the way they look, so I said, let me try some more and see how they see how they're gonna come out. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna like them. Yep, see while I'm doing watching TV, I can put a, a million of these together. Talking about building your stash. You can put a million of these together and then um, sew them all at the same time. And then we have another piece of this puzzle too. Because we're not finished with this. I'm trying to put my paper clips back in the right place. So I'm gonna have another uh, piece of gear to put away, which I know, I'll be making a mess when I'm on. See, I done run through all of those already. Now I'm gonna do the other side after I get done with this one. All right, so now, 
Okay, so we got this nice line, and I'm going to uh, go down these again. And this time, I'm going to do the other side, I think. I might have to cut some. I think for this one, how do I want to do this? She's kind of hanging off, so I don't think I really need... I think I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna cut these apart. Get my little scissors. And then that way, it'll be easier for me to do this. Got a few more. I don't know if I have 20 right here, but I will before the night is over with. Okay. So now, oh, that sounds good. I remember I used to eat peanut butter and Ritz all the time. Y'all, I'm kind of like, I'm addicted to peanut butter. Once I start eating pe peanut butter, I can eat peanut butter out the jar. So I don't buy it that much. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. I love peanut butter. All right, I'm glad I cut that because that helps me out. Helps my decision-making process out a lot. Ready to get your sewing machines out now, aren't you? <laughs> I know you are. Go this way. And this one. And this one. This one. I think I have one more left. You tried to get away. You're not getting away from me. Get over here. Okay. So now. Alright, I'm finished with the sewing machine. So let me I'm move it out the way. I admire the people that can leave their sewing machine on the desk while they work. <laughs> I have to move mine back and forth. But it's not too far for me. Alright, so now let's cut these apart. We're not finished with them yet, so y'all don't go anywhere. But if y'all like lots of little tidbits of pieces, y'all give this video a thumbs up. Because <laughs> I got a million of them on my desk right now a million and I like the way they look again they look very vintagey very pretty pieces I like this look so your craft room is a disaster right now <laughs> girl I talk about mine every time I come on it just stays a disaster I'm just gonna have to learn to love it I don't think I'm gonna love it but I'm just gonna have to figure out how to get it together. Okay, so now the next piece to this puzzle, we need our, we are Memory Keepers Cropadal. I don't know who decided to name this a Cropadal. I guess cause, see there's that word crop again. Nobody knows what it means. <laughs> crop, I know it's for crafting, but I don't know what the rest of it is. So I'm gonna use this and I got some smaller eyelets, so I'm going to try these. 
these are the ones that I did before are some big ones, but they're like, they're really big, big for these pieces. So I'm going to try some smaller ones and they're like, um, kind of like brass. Okay. I'm going to bring y'all down some. So y'all looking at my hands when it's close up kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't know why. Okay. I think we're okay. But all right. So this time, this is actually my first time I'm going to be using the one eighth of an inch side. And I'm just going to punch a hole in here. I should punch the hole first and then I'm going to put my little eyelet in. I said grommet, didn't I? Is this is grommet. I don't know. Yeah, I like the little one better because look at that. That's a big difference because the big one is out of control. And then squish it and it's on. Now we have a little tag. And it's ready to hang on something. Y'all think I squished it too much though. Or did I not squish it enough? I don't know. Look how, can y'all see? Let me see. Can y'all see how wacky that came out? I don't know if anybody would notice, but it's like I um I really kind of I don't know tore it up or something. It's still gonna work for me, but I'll try not to squish so hard on this next one. Yeah, let's do this side. I got the right side. Yeah. All right, let's poke her in there. Hey, Seek, but you can't hide. And Lisa, hey, you all. All right, let's see. I wonder, I'm still learning how to use this thing. I wonder if I use this side. We'll see. They don't really give you, I like We Are Memory Keeper stuff, but they don't really give you good instructions on how to use their stuff. By no means. Nope. That just demolished that one, too. What the hootie hoo? Let me put it back where it was at. I think I got a better result, but I don't know. It might be the eyelids. Any Any suggestions? <laughs> Any suggestions on this? I'm killing these, but I don't know why. I don't know why they're dying. I have to do some testing. But like I said, nobody probably would notice but me. But. Hmm. All right, let's just do the holes in all of these. Not worry about it so much. Because we can do the holes real fast too. Let me see where we're at on the time. I need both hands for this job. Also, we gotta get our focus back. Let's see. We are at 53 minutes. Okay. Okay. Let's keep on working it. Go here, here. I wonder is it the eyelets? I wonder did I buy cheap eyelets? Cause this is my first time using those. That's not a good hole. I already know that. I have to figure out how to cover that up. I'm not throwing nothing away. Although they were quite easy to make. Okay, and then this one. All right, now we're gonna try to demolish some more of these. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's not supposed to be perfect, but I want to make sure they don't come loose too. And I don't know if that's going to happen. I guess I'll have to use some to figure it out. All right. Get on there. Uh oh, this one. Oh, there we go. All right, so I got the paper pushed all the way down. And I'm pretty sure I'm putting it on correctly. Because I know that side goes on there. I have to think. Because I've never like had to change the dial on this. But I know when I'm using the other one, this is how I do it. When I use the other side. Get back on there. And then it's in there. But it's not really smushing out. I think it might be the material and not me. Oh, well, yeah, it's still wonky. And it didn't catch either. See, look. See, I pull that right off. I know you all can't see this, but it just looks like a, um, like if you were watching like CSI or something, it looks like just a bent up, a bent up, um, bullet. <laughs> all right, I'm going to try one more. Let's do this. I'm just going to put one in here. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm wasting material, but. Let me put it the other way because maybe I'm just not doing it the right way, which I think I am, but let's get a piece. Let's get a piece of paper. I don't know which, I don't know which setting to change it to though. That's the problem. Oh, maybe I have to change the top part. Aha. Let's try that. I didn't change the top one. But I don't know if I have to change the bottom part. All right, let's try this one and see. The good thing about this is I'm, I don't really feel like I'm wasting anything. <laughs> oh, that's much better. That did the trick. It still didn't bend as good as I wanted it to, but on the back, but man, that's a big difference. I don't know if y'all can see this. I'm gonna show y'all, put two together. Wait, let's, let me get my focus here. All right, let's see if I can show y'all. All right, so this is the good one. You can see it, and that's the bad one. And then let's look at the back. See the back? It didn't even, it just, whatever, crushed it. And that one's much better. And then this was the, the one that I tried. It just came out crap, crappied. All right, so now, I think we might be in business, but yeah. I think we might be in business now. I wasted a few, but... That's okay. Let's take this one off because it's, it's not really holding it. Oh, yes, it is. It don't look like it's holding anything, but it is. So we'll just leave that one. All right. See, I got the real deal. Because <laughs> I never did the small one. I always did the 3 16 This one is um, 1 8 I think. Yeah, this is 1 8 of a hole. I had the bright idea to get 1 8 of a hole. So I wanted the small ones. I got these just for this project and future ones, of course. All right, here we go. You got to have good hands to use this thing, too. All right, squish. I don't feel like it's squishing. It squished a little bit, but it didn't go all the way down. Try that again. There we go. Ooh, y'all, you gotta have good hands for those, these little ones. All right, that one came out good. 
I think another thing too is like this paper is so thin that it's having a hard time catching, but it's getting there. I think we're gonna be all right. My hand's probably not gonna be all right. It's probably gonna hurt later. So I'm, I was gonna do some more of these when I got finished, but I don't think so, cause I already know. I already know. So let's stick these in. Let's go into um, our assembly line mode here. You got everybody on here that do the craft videos. <laughs> Y'all, thanks for the advice on this. Hey, Angela, Angela Planner. And Barbara, how you doing today, you all? I'm trying to figure out my crocodile in this one eighth of an inch. Uh, one eighth of an inch hole. I think we got it now. Look, this one got two holes in it now. Because put the hole in the wrong place I wanted to put it in a sturdier spot but you know what I might just put two two in this one let's do that he's gonna be extra special no that might not work maybe if it catches I make that hole right on the edge Nope, it just ripped. So should I waste that? Oh, you know what I could do? I'm so silly, y'all. Let me just rip it off. I'm not ripping his head off or anything. It's gonna look a little wacky, but who cares? I might have to cut this. There we go. So he won't have two holes, but he looks a bit more organic now. you in here now I'm trying to look at the chat while I'm doing this is real hard <laughs> you're an hour late again yes you are Jamie but that's okay there's always the replay and we'll still be chit chatting over in the Facebook group because we're all totally addicted to it now so you don't have to worry about that all right and One more, and then we're gonna close these guys up. If my hands could take it, they don't have any strength because I need food. <laughs> they're, they're tags, they're mini tags. And I'll kind of show you how they're gonna, how they'll hang. All right, as soon as I get done fighting with these. Not really fighting, but. All right. Heard that one. I still ain't coming out like I wanted to. I think it's because it's the material I'm using is thin. All right. Because I did make changes. I changed. Okay, that one's good. Yep. That one came out perfect. I don't like it how uh, the lock changes on this thing too. Like when you do, when you uh, crush something and then the lock, it locks up. But I still like it though. Let go lock, let go. Nope, that's not done. It didn't do nothing. Wait a minute, y'all gotta get close to me so I can see what I'm doing. Ooh, I just had to give it a good squeeze. All right, that one's perfect. Did I do this one? That one's done. Ooh, got four more. Y'all, my muscles in my arms <laughs> are really like overworked now all right let me put this closer 
It's a better angle if I can get close. All right, that one's done. Yeah, I can't do too many, too many of these at one time, so I'm just warning you, if you have bad hands, you can probably, on, probably only a couple of these. My hands are not that bad, but I don't know. I'm feeling it like in my biceps, for real. Okay, and then this one. Okay. And then this one is the last one, thank goodness. I still like this project, but gadzooks. All right. Okay, so now we have all our little tags that we made. I forgot to do this one, but that's okay. We'll do that later. So we have all the little tags. Now what I'm going to do, oh, hold on. Hold on. All right, so now I'm gonna take these little pins and put these on here. because This is how they'll hang on whatever I put them on. So I might as well put the pins on now. I have enough, enough work. They can sit there for a while. See, so it'll be like this. So I can hang it on a book or, you know, we always, we're always doing stuff with materials. So, oh, your battery is running. Oh, you got to go charge it. All right. We're going to miss you. <laughs> See you later, Donna. We're almost done anyway. We got to put our, do our pins on here for our tags. And then you can hang these off of anything. Wait, I'm going to go up some because my hands look like, I don't know, it freaks me out. <laughs> freaks me out when my hands are that close. See? And we have like some little tags that can hang off. You could actually, I guess you could put these on a paper clip if you wanted to. I have some other ideas for these, which you all will see down the road. You could put two on um, one pin also. I'm just going to put one. And actually, like, uh, after I put everything together, they look kind of, take my glasses off. They look kind of like leather, like little leather pieces at first glance. You know, of course, when you touch them, you know it's paper. <laughs> it's a trickery of the eye. I like these. I want to make some more. I can make them. And I just, this was only like about half of that paper stamped. So if you have like some small stamps, you can use those. And then take it to the sew. You don't have to sew it. If you don't, you if you're still scared to take out your sewing machine, <laughs> you could just glue these together, and then you can still put a hole in them, and then put your little pins through. I took my glasses off now. I can't see. Sometimes even when you can't see, you just don't want to wear glasses. <laughs> I've done the tassels before, but I didn't really enjoy doing the tassels. I mean, I might do them in the future, but I have done them. And they look good, too. And I've actually sold some. I think I sold, I might have a few left in my shop that I did. But I haven't done them lately. But actually, probably one reason, I did them when I first started doing journals. And I didn't have, like, a lot of materials and stuff, so... I got bored doing them real fast, but now I got some stuff, so I might, that might be something to do. That's a, that's the idea. Thanks for putting another idea in my head, Penny. <laughs> you enablers. All right, so now 
just gonna push those off, off to the side so now we have a bunch of these now I'll get a little bit closer and then you all can take a peek oh let's do do it like we regularly do it okay, I'm gonna bring y'all down even though I don't like looking at my hands let's put one here so we can get the focus together all right so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve actually I think it's like thirteen all right so we got this one let's do it like that so you can see so it don't hang off it says wish don't be laughing pity it's not funny <laughs> and then we have the little man here or man in his top hat he's all dressed up and ready to go we have the little ballerina so you can see why I didn't use the zigzag stitch on these because the zigzag would have just took over the whole paper so I think just the simpler stitching um, was definitely the way to go and then we have a butterfly here we got another clock because you can definitely reuse everything and I like the little teacup here and then we have a fly. I like the flies. Here's another fly. And then we have another ballerina. And we have uh, another uh, butterfly. And don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. That's your musical interlude today. <laughs> yeah, they came out cute. And you can see it's kind of fast, too, because, like, what I would do. So, of course, I have, like, a million and one pieces over here now. So, I have some that's cut already. So, let's pull this up some. Get the focus back. So, I could take these while I'm watching TV. Um, tear these off the, you know. I could just stamp a whole bunch of these. Go sit in my bed. Make sure it's smooched already because I don't want the smooching in the bed. And then just rip these. And then do the vintage photo around those. Have to do that on the sofa, not in the bed. Because <laughs> I don't want the vintage photo in my bed. And then we'll do the sewing. See, I only did one side. This must have been hiding. Then do the sewing on the edges. I also did like some little bugs that were uh, colored colored in I think I used the watercolors on those so you could use like any of your stamps on this particular particular thing see I still got a bunch that I already did so I could go to town on these but that's it because I am like starving to death y'all and me and um you said you have her heard that song it's stuck in your head it'll be stuck in your head all night <laughs> sorry <laughs> yep no smooching in bed not that kind of smooching anyway family show <laughs> all right you all i am going to go ahead and shove off so i hope you all are inspired to do some tags and i hope you have a, a wonderful evening as well i'm going to go ahead and shove off so with that, I'm going to say, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up again and leave a comment if you're on the replay. Love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life. And no smooching in bed.